local business is working to break the barrier between exotic animals and humans. Reptile Ron Animal Presentations is educating the Central Valley about reptiles by taking them to the community events. Joining us now to tell us more about what they are doing is co owner Cody Gill, an educational presenter, and with the Fresno Wildlife Rescue, Hayden Del Fierro. Welcome, both of you. How are you? Excellent. How are you? I'm good. Thank you for asking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cody, first of all, tell us a little bit about the business. Okay, so we <laughs> We take animals of all kinds uh, pretty much everywhere. So we travel all over California. We do libraries and schools and things like that. Um, but really, if, like, if anyone wants us to come, we do senior centers even, things like that. Mm. Um, we do educational and entertain entertaining uh, shows. So it's, it's a good time. You learn a lot of stuff. You get to touch stuff, take pictures with stuff. Um, it's, it's all around a good time. Okay, and what made you want to educate the community about reptiles? A lot of people have misconceptions about animals. Um, mm -hmm. I was born around them. My dad had them before I was born, so mm -hmm. I never knew that snakes and spiders were weird. Uh, oh, but, but you didn't. Yeah, All right, the, I'm just yeah, Well, the older I got, the more I realized, hey, my friends are looking at me kind of weird. So, uh, you know, a lot of people don't have uh, an opportunity to see and touch them. So we yeah. thought, hey, you know what? There's people who would like us to probably come to their schools and learn some stuff. Um, and usually there's a lot of misinformation, too. People okay. think that, you know, snakes and spiders are evil creatures and they're going to attack them and stuff and we you know like to dispel those kind of mm -hmm. weird rumors. And Hayden, yeah. you've been you're an educator as well. For how long yes, have you been doing it? Uh, 3 years with Reptile Ron wow. and it's been a blast, you know, teaching those kids and getting them over fears. We could bring out, you know, a big reptile, big scary one yeah. and then we tell them all the facts and yeah. By the end of it, they're not afraid of it. But you know what? I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like children are less scared of when it comes to like reptiles and <laughs> all that stuff. Hundred percent true. You know? Actually, true. My, one of my favorite things about what we do is seeing the kids get super involved and yeah. the parents are in the back like, like shaking, up, like, right? like honey, be careful, you know. But you know, by the end of the show, usually after they hear us talk about them and explain them, the, the adults get involved yeah. too, and then they'll tell us afterwards, "I've had a lifelong fear, and I just conquered my fear, and I feel so good." So it's en enriching yeah. in right. a way for, for the kids and the adults. So. Okay, so am I gonna conquer? my fears today I feel like I am. Well I hope so. Okay yeah. let's start with the first guy. We let's got a, see. We got okay. a tiny one for you. Okay, okay we're gonna start tiny. off small. Yeah. It's tiny and it's super super friendly. I, I do weird stuff when I'm nervous guys. <laughs> Oh, is that oh, Miss Frizzle? Oh, what is that? Oh. Here, I'll let, I'll let Hayden know. Oh, what is that out. one called? This right here, her name is Miss Frizzle and she is a Mexican red knee tarantula. You can kind of see right there. Oh. She has red little knees. Okay. Now you can also kind of see that she has like two little legs we can kind of show you. Okay, let's not make the little Mexican tarantula mad. Let's not do that. She doesn't get mad. Yeah, she doesn't. She's okay. very sweet. But you see these two little yeah. legs right here? Okay, yeah. So sometimes they'll go to molt or shed their skin. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it's hard to get one of those little legs out of there. So she went and popped them right off, both of these two. Oh and my then, goodness. And yeah. they grew back. They grew back. She molted again and grew them back. So it's kind of fun. You see the normal size legs, and then you see these little tiny ones there. So maybe when she goes and molts again, uh -huh. they'll be bigger. Can I touch her? No, Abs hey, look, you should hold her. You want to hold her? Hold yeah. Her. You put your hands flat oh, like this. That escalated quickly. Yeah, okay. yeah. no, no. She's How we do like I do? What do I do, though? Just like this, two hands like this. Perfect. And then I'm just going to pop her right oh. in there, just like that. Oh, can we grab her? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hayden, is that tarantula venomous? By oh way? my goodness this, gracious! Yeah, it's absolutely venomous. Oh, yeah, it it's is. totally venomous. And it has it some is. big old fangs. I could show you those it, oh, right now. Not, right let's, here. Let's not There's look at that when I'm gonna hold it. <laughs> but if you pet her belly, it's actually really, really Can soft. I pet it? Okay. Absolutely, please do. The venom that's in those tarantulas that doesn't hurt people. It just works on bugs. So we can yeah. hold venomous spiders and, and not it's get hurt so by them. Soft. <laughs> yeah. I love like it. Velvety. It's like a puppy belly. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay, could I touch her? Like, Absolutely. I don't know where to touch her. Like, her you could, abdomen. Yeah, right, right here. Know. You could do that. Usually the belly is the best place, in my opinion. I'm a little shaky, this. guys. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm doing this. I'm doing this. She's okay, a little okay. inti intimidating, but she's actually very, very sweet. Okay. You know, we have, I don't even know how many tarantulas, and oh. we've never once been bitten by them. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're actually Let's... way more docile than people give them credit mm -hmm. for. Oh, gosh. Mm -hmm. oh, I believe you guys. Let's bring out the, yeah. the other Her, ones. The next one will eat that one, so I got to put that one away. The other one will eat that one. Okay. Here, let me see. Let's this see one, his name is Pirate. Oh, he's Pirate. taking a nap. Let's wake him up. And he's nap taking time. a nap. Oh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. That's not too bad. Okay. All right, okay, Pirate, you guys. Okay, what kind of animal is a Pirate? <laughs> That's a great question. Pirate is called a black and white tegu, and they come from South America originally. 
Now, I know these probably stand out, stand out a little bit. Yeah. You might have some questions about those. Mm -hmm. Big old cheeks. Yeah, big old cheekies. Big cheeks. <laughs> now, you're really going to want to pay attention to this part uh -huh. because these cheeks, uh -huh. very important, uh -huh. they're used to find love. What do you mean? To find love. Yes. What do you mean? Love. So, what he'll do. The bigger the cheek, the more they're Absolutely. looking for love. Absolutely. That's how you can tell he's a boy by his yeah. big cheeks. That he'll go up so to a girl, Tegu. He'll bounce his big cheeks at her like this, bow, 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 <laughs> and go, hey, what's up, baby? That bow. is so cute. And, okay, yeah, the bigger tongue. cheeks Why and handsomer. Why is he sticking out his tongue? What does that mean? Great question. They use their tongues like we use our noses. It's a way of it smelling oh, or tasting yeah. the air. Okay. They pull particles into their mouth. There's an organ in there that registers kind of what's going on. That is um, amazing. Yeah, and it's forked because it could kind of tell, you know, helps it really locate where food might be or water if there's a predator nearby that like to gobble them up. Did can you I feel them? Yeah, yeah, please do. You can. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's get pirate over there. Oh, Pirates are rescue. Goodness. So we, we rescue a lot of exotic, uh, exotic animals as uh -huh. well. Um, he came in. He's blind in one eye. He can't see out yeah. of this eye right here. Okay. Yeah, so that's how he got the name Pirate. And we don't know how that happens. In fact, with most of our animals, we don't know a lot of their stories. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, but we take in birds and lizards and snakes and all kinds of weird stuff. Oh. Goodness. Okay, so we need to bring out the other animals. Okay. The other one? All right. Okay, pirate. All right. Hey, nice hey, we'll to meet say you, goodbye, pirate. pirate. <laughs> Bye, pirate. There we go. Hayden, you want to reach into that oh, one there? Oh goodness. Okay, that's the one. In, is that the surprise? That's not the surprise. Oh, no, that's no, not we the told surprise you yet, guys. Was. They have a surprise. Actually, do you want to help us with this one? Oh yeah. Here, look. If you stand, if you stand still, right here. I'm right here. We'll, we'll hold it together. Yeah. Because it takes more than one person. Do. Okay, you just just stand there. That's all you got to do. It's easy. Do I just? Yeah, you just stand there. Okay. Just hold on. We're gonna get him right. Well, do I go like do oh, I no, put? No, just like this. Look it. We're gonna put him on the table. You don't have to use your hands. Okay. Yeah. Just like Look that. At this. And he'll give you a nice hug. There you go. Oh, it's gonna give me a nice hug. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this, this is just amazing, guys. This is Sunshine. Is his name. Okay. Okay. Sunshine. Sunshine's a Burmese python. He's a total sweetheart. You want us to take him? <laughs> Just to get him? <laughs> here, we'll get him on the table. Oh my goodness. You did a great job. Oh my goodness, go where's the head? Where's the head? The head's over here. Look at it. Look at it. Oh this my is his gosh. head right here. How long is Sunshine? He's probably 11 feet. Now, we haven't, we haven't measured him in a while. He's always growing. He gets a lot bigger than this, in it's fact. Beautiful. Yeah, he's young. Gets way bigger. I love the color. I love this. Oh my gosh. Okay, tell us more about Sunshine. Okay, so Sunshine, again, he's a Burmese python. They uh -huh. come from Asia. And he's another rescue, actually. Yeah. Someone gave him to us, and he was a sweetheart since we got him. So he's actually one of the big snakes we travel with. We take him to, in fact, we were just at a preschool uh, two days ago. We yeah. had 10 preschoolers line up. They were all holding <laughs> sunshine. We let him slither on the ground. The kids get to pet him. He's really, really sweet. And, and you know, people always ask me, man, uh, what are the odds you're going to get bit by a snake like that? Or what's it feel like to get bit by a oh. snake like that? I, I have to tell you guys, i got to answer this question. I'm sure for everybody. It hurts. Look, no, I don't know. I've never been bit by one. We've oh. had him my whole life. Um, we've had pythons just like this since I was born. I've never been bit. They're super, super friendly. Goodness gracious. So. Okay, we need to put away sunshine, and we need to we, see the surprise. Okay, all right. Oh, we got a surprise no. animal. And look, I don't want to scare you, um, but usually when we... Not anymore, right? No, no, no. But, you know, this time, those were all very friendly animals. Okay. But the last animal is the only one we brought that's really dangerous um, and, and a little bit aggressive. So when he comes out, it's really important that you don't look him in the eyes. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> if you're at home, have a I didn't seat wanna, so you don't I faint. I didn't even want to look at sunshine in the eyes. Yeah. So this is just going to be fun. So what we'll do okay. is we'll bring him out, and then Cody and I are just going to leave. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to just deal with it, or what? Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, you could run out, too. Just be faster than the cameraman. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys, you guys. Okay, I'm, I'm glad we're live. Oh, my goodness gracious, this is a huge bunny. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Hi, baby. Here, you can pet him. You can okay, feel this him. one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh he's, I'm kidding. He's obviously not How mean. How big is this? He is the world's largest species of rabbit. Okay, he's called a Flemish giant. They come from Europe, and they were bred to be the biggest rabbit we could we could breed. Yeah, they bred them for their meat and their fur, actually. So oh. he's he's only two years old. He's pretty young. He might even get a little bigger. So okay, so he's probably gonna get bigger. Or what do yeah, you think? his dad was bigger than him, so we think maybe he's got a little bit of room to grow. Usually by two years they're full grown though, so we'll see. Oh maybe he'll get gosh, bigger. Oh my gosh, this is amazing! I love this one. I love the surprise. You guys, thank you so much <laughs> for being course. here and yes, educating us about all these animals. No, love it. Thank, thank you, you for having us. Yeah, thank you. Stay with us because we have more Central Valley today when we come.